Hey everyone, it's Vita Day 17 and today's Easter. So happy Easter if that's something you celebrate. Um, so yesterday I had a very late night video so I didn't really get to talk too much more. Um, but yesterday morning, like I had mentioned before, I had an eye doctor's appointment um, and I am going to get new frames because these are about two years old. But luckily, let me fix my camera a little bit. Luckily the guy who was helping me at the end pick out frames was able to uh, kind of repair the leg here so it's kind of a temporary fix don't know how long it'll last but at least I can keep wearing these instead of the nine-year-old glasses with more scratched up frames anyway then that afternoon my boyfriend and I went to his parents house to celebrate Easter with his family so that was nice I like spending time with them and I got to see his niece and she's really cute and she can smile and is really happy and we went to the Easter Vigil Mass um, in the evening, which I've never been to before, so I'm glad I decided to go with them this year. Um, I didn't go last year, but we had only been dating a couple months at that point. Um, yeah, so even though uh, I don't exactly want to say grew up Catholic, because I was baptized Catholic, but we didn't really go to church a whole lot when I was growing up. But when we did, we would normally just go to church on Sundays and not really Saturday evenings. Um, but the Easter Vigil Mass, it's probably one of the longest masses that they have. It starts at 8.30 in the evening, and we didn't get out until 11.30. Um, but honestly, I wasn't paying attention to my watch the whole time, so I didn't feel like the time was dragging. Also, I just really love Easter. Um, I do go to church a lot, and Lent is one of my favorite uh, liturgical seasons. And I just love the, you know, the waiting for Easter, and when Easter comes, it's honestly one of my favorite holidays. Um, so let's see with Easter Vigil. It started about 8.30 and we started in the courtyard area of the church and um, it was dark because it was evening, it was nighttime. And they read some scripture from the Bible and then they had a little fire there which they used to relight the Easter candle. And then we all had little candles that with that fire we all kind of lit our own candles and went into the church. And I guess maybe the first half of service, I guess, the, or at least the first section, which was all the liturgy of the word, maybe? It was all, the lights were all off, except for where the choir was. Um, so that was kind of neat. And they had um, different readers read different parts from the Bible, which kind of went over the whole story of creation. So parts from Genesis and Exodus up until some chapters from Romans and then after each reading we would sing a refrain that the rest of the choir would sing the other verses of and then there would be a like a psalm prayer so that was the first part and that was nice um and then we there was a baptism of not a baby like an, a regular either a teenager or an adult so there was a baptism and then he was confirmed and we all went up to renew our baptism, so that was neat. Um, because now I skip out on communion in the Catholic Church. And so I got to go do that, and then we did Eucharist, so... And that's still neat to see. And then it ended, and we sang some hymns as well. So it was neat being part of that, and kind of seeing what it was like. And like I said, I really love Easter. And then today, my boyfriend and I are going to my church. We're going to the 1030 service, which is the one I usually go to. My parents actually went to 815 because they have someone coming into town and they want to be there when he comes, but I didn't get to bed until 1 in the morning last night because of Easter Vigil and I didn't think I could handle going to 815 this morning. But we're going to go see my parents for lunch um, later after church, So, and I'm really excited about church today as well. It's one of my favorites of the year. So that's all. Um, again, if you celebrate Easter, happy Easter, and if not, happy Sunday, and I'll be back tomorrow.